Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. How are you guys doing today? Today is Sunday. I am in the van. It is 9.47 a.m. I think I've been up since about 8 a.m. Just doing some stuff on my phone. But I'm in the van and I'm feeling a little, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I didn't know what I was going to do today, but I decided I'm feeling a little, I don't know what it is. I don't know the word for it, but I'm feeling something. So I'm just, I'm kind of stuck. So I am going to, I am going to leave. I'm going to leave course sites. I was going to go to Lake Havasu today and go to Home Depot and shopping, but I don't feel like doing that. So you guys, I'm about to leave and I'm about to head to Vegas. Yay! I'm about to head to Vegas and I'm going to spend a couple of days in Vegas, two or three days in Vegas, and then I'm going to go check my mail. So anyway, I'm about to get this vlog started and I'm about to put on me some clothes and uh, I'm about to fix me something to eat. I'm probably gonna go live on the other channel, Vanessa's Van, Vanessa VIPV. I'm not gonna tell them that I'm going to Vegas. I'm just gonna fix me something to eat, chill with them. And then after I eat, I'm getting in my van and I'm leaving. So let's get this party started. I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'm going inside the tiny home. So y'all, that is one thing I like about just living free and being free and not having to answer to anybody and just being able to pick up and do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it that is called freedom and I love having that type of freedom just being able to feel a certain way and being able to act on it and get up and go I just feel like not doing anything I feel like I'm tired of DIYs right now so I just feel like getting up and going having a change of scenery doing something different so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get up and go have a change of scenery and do something different. So I'm drawing my bath water right now. Let me make sure this water, sometimes the water, depending on how that thing turns, sometimes the water runs out. So yeah, you guys, let me know in the comments bar below if you are at that point in your life where you can just get up and go and do whatever you want to do and change your scenery and change the pace if you want to or let me know if that is something that you are striving for in the future to be able to change your pace and just do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it um sometimes it can't be all about money that's holding you back from following your dreams because like if it was because of if, if money <laughs> you know I decided to follow my dreams whether or not I had money or not and God has made a way like they say your gifts will make room for you your desires, your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations will make room for you if you pursue them regardless of your financial situation or regardless of your circumstance and your situation. I'm pursuing my hopes, my dreams, regardless of my situation and my desires have made room for themselves. And I just take one day and one step at a time and everything is working itself out. 
So I'm just gonna continue to move forward. And today I'm gonna do what I want to do today because tomorrow is not promised. So today we're going to Vegas, yay! Hopefully we get enough a good enough start when we make it there before dark because I don't want to be driving in the dark, y'all. So anyway, let me take my bath and fix me something to eat and we're going to get ready to go. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to get on the road and I'm stopping at the gas tank. I am uh, almost full, but I'm like a quarter of a tank from full. So I'm gonna stop and top off my gas before I leave court sites. And I'm making a big boo-boo. Uh, before you get on the road, you should really eat and everything, but I didn't eat anything. So hopefully within the first hour of me driving, I can find a restaurant or a fast food place to stop it and get me something to eat but i don't know and my windows are really dirty so i'm gonna clean my windows as well but yeah let me get some gas Okay, you guys, I am in Parker. This is the route that uh, Siri took me. So I'm just going to stop by Walmart. I was going to stop and get me something Turn to right eat. Onto South Fiesta Avenue. Hey, then Siri. Right onto West in navigation. Hey, Siri. In navigation. Turn right onto South Chevaway Avenue. Then turn right. Why is she not in the navigation? So anyway, y'all, I'm about to stop at Walmart because I did not. I did not do anything to prep for this trip. So I'm gonna stop at Walmart and get me some lunch meat and some crackers and something to drink and some water so I can put in my refrigerator uh, so that way I can have something to drink whenever I want to when I'm out and about. So yeah, so I'm getting off of my, taking a little detour and going to Walmart. Yes, I made it to Walmart. And since we are in Walmart, we're gonna look around and see if we see anything on sale, of course, any clearance items. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all my outfit of the day. I got on some little attire that I got from Timu and just looking comfortable. So I didn't realize that uh, Nevada, Las Vegas, it's only three miles away like, like y'all i could take that little trip often anytime i want to go to vegas like it's just three miles away i'm going to vegas today girl it's only three miles away <laughs> yes baby yes so yeah we're taking a trip to vegas why because we 
time I come in here, they always have some shirts for a dollar. I don't know if they're gonna have some shirts for. find any good clearances throughout the store but I did find like this wall and they have it broke down into sections so this is the dollar section everything right here is a dollar and they have a swim cap I need a swim cap so I'm gonna get a swim cap for a dollar. Might as well. And that's the only other thing I see in a dollar section that I want. So let me go get the other stuff I need and get back on the road. Instead of buying a drink from a restaurant, I mean, fast food place, let me just get a drink. I never tried the Simply Peach, y'all, huh? How's that gonna taste? Okay, y'all, I just got to checking out and I had this item in the top basket with my phone over it and I didn't see it. I forgot to ring it out, so I'm about to go back in and pay for this. Uh, since I got to go back in, I might as well gone pay for it i was gonna say just put it back and don't get it but it's only a dollar and i'm going back in anyway so i might as well pay for it so let's go back in i can't believe i forgot to spring this up that's what you get when you check out yourself child i have my phone in the top of the basket up there over it and I didn't even notice it. Okay, you guys, so I got me something to drink. I got this Simply Peach. I think this is my first time trying this. Instead of buying a drink at like McDonald's or something. That's gonna be two something. I got a whole thing. Or two something I could use a cup of ice <laughs> I wish they had somewhere in there where they could sell a cup of ice I need to get me some wet wipes when I get to Nevada there's a place where I'm gonna stack up on stock up on wet wipes if they still have some so I just got some Mesquite smoked turkey breast. That's some great value crackers. And I'm just going to eat this while I drive. I'm probably going to end up having to stop somewhere and use the bathroom. This is my first meal of the day. Cracker just fell somewhere. Can't find it. But it's 106. So let's see what time we will get to Las Vegas. We're gonna get there before while it's still daylight. So we might have time to do something. So, 
Let's go. Okay, y'all, we at some kind of checkpoint. I don't know what we're doing. Hello? No, sir. Thank you. track and I'm gonna go in the back and give me some water child. I'm about to go in the back. I got to pee and I need to get some water. I will be back. Let's go to the back. Anyway you guys since there was a train on the track I went to the back and got me some bottles of ice water. Some ice out of my freezer. Now I got to wait for it to thaw out. Sign and say welcome to Nevada. And we just passed a rest area. I was gonna stop, but the rest area was closed. And it said we're like 70 something miles from Vegas. So we are on our way to Vegas and say we'll make it there by four something. So yeah, we're gonna see what we're gonna get into tonight. We got 43 more miles before we get to Sin City. Uh, the speed limit is 75 miles an hour. And we're almost there. And I guess I'll talk about this drive when we get to where we're going. I have no idea where I'm gonna spend the night, what I'm gonna do, how many days I'm gonna be here. This was a spontaneous, out of the blue trip that wasn't planned. So I don't know where I'm gonna stay at. I don't know how many days I'm gonna be down here. Today is Sunday. So I'm thinking I might stay till Wednesday go pick up my mail Thursday we will see we will see how this goes so anyway uh, let me see yeah we got 41 more 41 more miles to go Mexican 
restaurant. Okay, y'all, it is windy out here. That heat is dry. Girl, I just stopped at one of these Hispanic Mexican restaurants. It was a matter of an emergency. Like, <laughs> I was driving and I had to use the bathroom, girl. It was like, if you don't stop now, girl, you gonna wish you had on a diaper. So I had to stop. Just got me something to eat as well. First meal of the day. But anyway, I also booked my hotel with Expedia.com and uh, saved some money on booking a hotel. They had some pretty cheap hotels, but I went for a moderate hotels range. Hotels like all the way for $27 a night at the circus whatever circus something <coughs> 27 <coughs> Woo, excuse me 27 seven dollars a night so i went for and then they had one for like 48 dollars a night i went for medium range i think it was like 78 dollars a night uh next time i come here i will go for the cheapest one so I can give a review on it so anyway I'm getting ready to head and I'm gonna let Siri give me my direction this water just fell okay it's saying I am something else. What is this? Okay, y'all, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so I am at oversized parking for vehicles that are taller than six feet, 10 inches. So that is the Treasure Island Hotel that I'm staying at, but I have to park way over here. And this is the only parking lot in this area and it's $30 for 24 hours, y'all. $30 a day. So. I am staying at the Treasure Island for three days plus $30 a day extra because they don't have parking for oversized vehicles. So, and that's the same with pretty much all the places in this area, I think. So they say the other place that is, uh, that has parking for oversized vehicles is circus circus and that is over a mile away so y'all the circus circus rooms were 27 dollars a night so if you have a large vehicle and you're gonna park it at circus circus you might as well stay at circus circus i'm just saying uh the circus circus room is cheaper than the parking so mm, that is something to consider uh, so I 
just letting y'all know. I'm just letting y'all know what the dealio and the realio is. So let me walk to my room. I don't have anything with me right now. I'm just going to check in, y'all. I had an accident. I had to use the bathroom so bad, you guys. I tried to make it to my toilet in the back of the van and I could not make it. And so I have a mess in my van and I had to change clothes. So I had to walk from all the way over here to all the way over there to go check in. So I'm gonna check in first, check into my room, look at my room, see how it looks uh, for the experience of staying on the strip at Treasure Island and paying an extra $30 a day so i just pay for one day because i have no idea what i'm gonna do tomorrow i don't know if that's gonna be worth it to me and the lady told me to ask if they comp for you paying for the oversized parking but i'm pretty sure they do not i'm pretty sure they do not comp you for oversized parking so I really just need to get in my room and I really just need to go take a shower but I'm gonna have to walk back to the van and go get my stuff and come back and check in and take a shower so let's do that see that is the self parking right there 6.10 inches so if your vehicle is taller than that, you're gonna have to pay $30 a day for the parking. I think my room is gonna be down here somewhere. I hope I have a nice view. So, let me see. And I got something to tell y'all girl wow y'all this can be expensive <laughs> this can be very 80 i think i just passed my room yeah i think i passed my room this can be expensive okay, okay this is the first view of the room i asked for two beds don't ask why it was the same price <laughs> it was the same price uh, and let's look at the view let's see what the view looks like can we pull the curtains back we're gonna see what this looks like at night you guys so now i have to walk all the way back down to the van to get my stuff. So we got two beds for I think $78 a night. So if I had company with me, oops, nope, where's the bathroom? Oh, I was pulling on the door. Okay, so we have a bathroom 
with a shower or a tub. Ooh, yes, girl. We gonna do the tub tonight. And we have a big sink where we could do our makeup. We have a mirror. So I'm gonna set all this stuff down. And they gave us a lottery ticket, I think. Is that a screw? No? I thought that was a scratch off. It's not. So, closet. Oh, we got a refrigerator where we could bring some water up. And we have a safe. And I stink. So, I am about to go back down to the van and uh, go get my stuff and come back up. Okay, you guys. So, they have a safe where you can keep your belongings in. So, I put my purse in there. Yay! So, we can go to the van and have our belongings locked up. That's a good thing. So let's go. I'm gonna leave my other phone here. Okay, you guys, so I am walking to the van. This is gonna be some good little exercise, so I kinda need to go in the van and bring all that I need to bring because this is going to be a walk for three days. <sighs> now I know and next time I will do something different. They don't comp your parking so you don't get you don't get the parking back so that's in addition to the fee so if you live in a van like me or a RV just know if you stay at the treasure island or the mirage anywhere close by the strip strip that has garage parking only you will not fit and you're gonna have to pay thirty dollars a day in addition to your hotel food fee so just know that Yeah, I'm about to make the walk of shame back <laughs> to Treasure Island. Oh, what a big inconvenience. Uh, but I got my stuff. I got some chips and some salsa from earlier. I got uh, my big suitcase. Uh, my little carry on suitcase and another bag. Uh, and hopefully I got everything that I need tonight. Uh, I'm probably gonna take a shower and I don't know if I'm gonna relax and chill tonight and try to plan and see what else I'm gonna do tomorrow or if I'm gonna walk the strip tonight and walk around and see Vegas at night. So, uh, I'll see y'all when I get in the hotel room. And we are gonna see if Vegas is all that it's cracked up to be or it's just another touristy place. But anyway, we have a casino in our lobby and uh, 
I'm pretty sure the casino stays open all night long. So anyway, I'll see y'all in the inside. This is gonna be a long walk with these big old bags. I can't show y'all everything. Can y'all see the bag? It's heavy. And I could come back and get some more stuff, but girl, I might call this a night. Y'all, they got the Trump Hotel, the Trump Towers. I wonder, we need to go to the Trump Hotel and see what kind of crowd they have over there at the Trump. At the Trump. <laughs> I wonder who over at the Trump, who is over there supporting the Trump. Anyway, I got me a bottle of water with some ice in it. I'll tell you guys, my back is killing me. I had to carry this bag, this bag, and that bag all the way from the car. I got bottles of water in here. We put in the refrigerator. I don't think we have a freezer. Y'all, this was my outfit of the day. I had the pants on to match this shirt, but I messed it up. So. I'm about to take me a bath. I don't know where they have the ice machine it, but Let's go find it. I can use some ice. Oh, I need my keys. Here. Let's go find the ice. Ice is free, vending machines cost a dollar. <sighs> okay, right there. <laughs> okay, y'all, I got some drink. One of my 99, the, not 99 cents, but one of my Walmart 76 cents drink. They had the Apple Fiji. Fuji today. They had that. So they don't have any little ice uh, shovel. Whatever you call it, thing that you get ice out. They don't have that. So I'm just going to use it. show y'all the view at night and then I'm gonna go draw me some bath water oh 
Okay. Maybe if I turn the light off. Y'all can see it better. Maybe if I turn all the lights off. It was showing a shadow. Let me see if it still showed a shadow. Okay, so that is my view from everything. So I guess we can go walking on the strip, I think. It'll be after the night. Now y'all let me know what uh, there is to do, because I will be coming back to Vegas and I will be passing back through here again once I check my mail and come back. And since it's just a three hour drive, I can come here whenever I want to. So let me know what it is to do in Vegas, you guys. Okay, y'all, so we got a big, deep tub. Oh my good, I'm getting big, girl. I need to go on a diet, but I hope I, I'm gonna have to bring some more shampoo up here. Let's for the three days. Yay! I'm gonna have to go walk to the car for some more days. Y'all, the water got good and hot, just like I like it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be in here for a while. <laughs> I am going to be in here for a while. I used all of my shampoo, so I am going to have to walk to the van and get some more. But, baby, some of the restaurants stay open till, like, 2 in the morning. One stay open 24 hours. Girl, they got a Popeye's chicken up in here and everything. So, yeah, I don't know. I might have to do a couple of mukbangs, but girl, the way I'm looking, I might not. <laughs> I'm looking kind of chunky, chunky. Okay, y'all, let me take my bath. So, y'all, I just got out the bathtub. I took a long, hot bath. I got on my pajama. Now, y'all, oh, I got my phones charging. I don't know if I'm going to go walk tonight. Um, to get a night view of the Las Vegas Strip or not. Uh, it's still early. It's like eight something going on nine. Uh, but, ooh, what time is it? Ooh, it's 9.05. So, you know, I guess Las Vegas stay open 24 hours. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm about to end this vlog. Thank y'all for riding with me to Las Vegas. I'm gonna be here for three days. Uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm leaving Wednesday night or I'm leaving. I don't know when I'm leaving. So anyway, I need to check on that. I don't know when I'm leaving. So anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Let me know what you want to see me do in Vegas because I will be coming here again. And if I don't do what you want me to do this time, I will try to get it in the next time. But I do want to go to, I got a glare in my glasses, y'all. I do want to go to the restaurant, uh, the All You Can Eat Buffet. I might do that tomorrow. So I know it's by reservation. So I might check and check out and see if I can go tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. 
and y'all have a blessed and wonderful day uh look below the video and look at the subscribe button if it is black or red you are not subscribed to the channel girl just check it and see even if you think you are subscribed check it and see if it's black or red you're not subscribed to the channel girl please 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 hit the subscribe button it'll help me out a lot go back and binge watch if you're new to the channel and even if you're old go back and binge watch some videos girl and watch them all the way through to the end girl and let all the ads and everything play girl Girl, so you can help me make some money girl so I could travel more girl and I can get out and about and get in some hotels and just go travel and eat and 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 do all that good stuff it take money so watch the videos and if you want to support the channel in any shape form or fashion look down in the description box below the video just look below the video click more twice or the down arrow twice and you'll see all my information my cash app my paypal my amazon wish list and my mailing address all in the description box below and thanks to the subscriber who paid for this trip a subscriber sent me the money to pay for this three-day vacation girl you know depending on where I stayed at uh, I could have got a little more for the money but I chose to stay here and it ended up costing me more girl because I had to park Oh, I'm supposed to tell y'all about that. I am paying an extra $30 a day to park. Where, uh, yeah, where I'm parking at, I'm paying an extra $30 a day to park. And on top of that, y'all, this hotel charged me. I don't know if they charging everybody, but they charged me an extra $100 deposit for every day that I'm here. So they charge me a extra $300 deposit. Charge $300 extra to my card. And allegedly, I'll get it back after I check out. Girl, where they do that at? I guess in Vegas. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, girl. I'm telling you. I'm telling, they charge an extra hundred dollars. They charge me an extra hundred dollars, y'all, per day deposit. What in the donkey cone is going on? Y'all let me know if they ever did that to y'all. Cause I, I need to know. A four hundred dollar deposit? No, three hundred dollar deposit? Extra? On top? Girl, let me go to bed. <laughs> Cause if I wouldn't have had the money, I wouldn't have been able to check in, girl. Cause oh, thank God I had the money, y'all. Lord have mercy. This is a catastrophe. Good night, y'all. See y'all later.